Hi guys, it's your boy Manny here again, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a character blink, okay? So, um, right here, I have a little drawing that I just made in my spare time. I call her Little Miss Piggy, she's really cute. I wish you could just bring her to life, right? Okay, let's get right to it. Um, first of all, I made the drawing without the eyes, right? In one column. This is the drawing without the eyes. And then this is the column with the eyes. And in that column, it will have the eye open right there. The eye open and the eye closed. Just like that. So that when you kind of move it from one frame to the other, it's kind of open and closed, open, closed, open, closed, like that. So we're going to try and make this in the form of, you know, to take up a particular time or number of frames. So we're just going to set that right there and then set the, um, the limit the loop limit as i like to call it because it doesn't really have a kind of proper name so i just give it a random name like the loop limit it sounds weird but i guess it works okay so um we're just going to decide where we want the um, blink eye to, to be let's say from 16. occupy the number two frame so we just put it right there and I like to um, make my blink eyes occupy just three frames because it can, it's kind of moderate when you play it out. So just see that? Very moderate. That's a really cute blink. I really wish I could bring this character to life. Like Pinocchio. I really love that movie though. I don't know. These days, movies are just, you know, rip off of old older movies animated movies anyway so that's why i'm here for you guys to you know raise the future animators and make sure that the animation industry has a bright future okay that is some really big elderly talk i don't want to get too wise for my own age so let me just do what I'm good at okay so um, we're just gonna um, put a little rig in on this just for fun you know what the hell let's just do it okay gonna rig the body you go to windows and then schematic and then we're just gonna set the columns like that sorry the column 1 is the body, so the column 2 is supposed to be connected to the column 1. Like that. Yep. Oops. Where is this flying to? Okay. Do that gently. Okay. Okay. Okay, that is okay like that. And then connect the column one back to the table. And then column two right here. And that's it. Connect the column the body is supposed to be connected to the table and the column two to the column one. And the column one represents the body, column two represents the eyes. Okay, I hope you guys are not confused because of all that you no know, little movement right there. So um we're just gonna create a mesh for this. For this body so to, to do that just press x on your keyboard press x and then go to create mesh over here in the top left of your you know screen and there you have it a mesh and then apply uh, apply anyway and that has just been applied oh yeah and when you create a mesh you also have to then you know, do the connections and the schematic so that 
when you move the mesh it kind of kind of moves with it as well so uh, the mesh is gonna be the parent of this all so the eyes will now be connected to the mesh so that when you move the mesh the eyes and the body move as well okay that is properly connected we're just gonna go ahead and build a skeleton for this um, for this mesh build skeleton right there and then build and we'll build a skeleton now what do we do we animate animate the skeleton and voila we have a head dancing up and down I think we should delete the, the first one delete the first skeleton so that this body doesn't move just start from the neck and then we just want the head to kind of tilt a little whoops wrong connection undo that undo that undo that okay build skeleton again just start from somewhere here and here and here so animate and let's see how this plays out yep beautiful animate oh we can also paint rigid like in case you don't want the certain part to move you can just go ahead and paint it so let's do that real quick paint rigid so we just paint the part that we want to be rigid I believe we've done that so we can now animate move the head moves so set the keyframe keyframe set and then next one move it and then set the keyframe in both the mesh and the drawing that is set. Um, we're gonna play this out and see. See how beautiful that is. Just watch it blink. Let me switch um, switch up this mesh a little so you kind of see the drawing. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Cute, cute Miss Piggy. All right, guys. I believe we're done for today. Do well to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and get the latest helpful tips on open tunes or 2D animation in general. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.